Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hey, just a couple of real quick announcements before we uh, before we get into the final on the small scale group build. I finally got my order in that I was waiting on um, that I had mentioned to you before, but this is the 727 Whisper Jet. This is what I'm going to be building for the Fred Henry appreciation build. We got some plans for this one. Hopefully they work out. So that's what we're going to be building for Fred. Then, next announcement. 11 days away. 11 days and counting until the Bandai group build. Anything Bandai that you have in your stash, you can build. So, 11 days. It's coming. It's coming quick. Not really an announcement, but an update. I got the, uh, the diamond painting done with the World War II planes in it. And I just wanted to show it to you. I really appreciate all the great comments you guys left when I was showing you the diamond paintings before. So we got that one done. It's all framed, ready to go up on the wall. And then we actually got one more done that we started working on. And that would be a white tiger to go up on the wall with my Bengal tiger. But I love the eyes on this guy. And they, they almost look hypnotic. They are so cool. But anyways, we got those done. And I've got um, I've got a few more ordered of the diamond paintings. And you car and truck guys are going to like the, the new ones that I've got coming. So, I'll show you. I'll, sh I'll share those with you when I get them. Who knows when they're going to be because of shipping the way it is now. I've got an order from Hobby Link Japan that I placed back, oh, it was like the first or second week of January that I'm still waiting on. And I know shipping is slow, but I went and checked on it, checked the tracking numbers, and according to the tracking numbers, they haven't even left Japan yet. But I went back to the website, the Hobby Link Japan website, and they said that right now orders are taking between two and four months to ship. So, well, for me to receive it, two to four months, man, that'll teach me for going cheap on the shipping. Next time I'll pay a couple of extra bucks and get the quicker shipping. But anyways, such is life. So, we're going to turn around here and we'll get to the small scale build. So, hold on to your seats. As Charlie would say, put your seatbelts on. Hang on, because we're turning around here. Coming over to the other bench. The 60 Thunderbird hardtop, 32nd scale. It is done. Let's take a look at it. There she is. We'll give it a quick spin around here and then we'll mention a couple of things about it. It was actually a very easy build. Um, really much appreciated after putting up with that Buck Rogers plane. But uh, it, was, it was a great little build. I really enjoyed building these little 30 second cars. Um, I've got that vet in my stash yet, and I'm going to look at adding a few more of these to the stash, because they really are 
quite fun to do. Now this one I did something totally different that I've never done before and that is this white stripe that I added on there. I basically just followed the the body contour line and uh, just taped that off and then sprayed the blue on it and then peeled the tape off to reveal the stripe. I just wanted to see what that would look like. And it doesn't it doesn't look too bad. I mean I I like it. I can I can see where I can do I'll I'll be doing some more like pinstriping later on down the road on other builds. And all the the silver work that you see the 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 trim all around the the windshield and on the side here and everything that's all hand painted and the bird I did all that with just a, a brush and good old tester silver paint and on the back here I don't know if it's showing up real good or not but you can see where I kind of muffed up the the paint job a little bit but I re it wasn't noticeable until I put the clear on it and then it stood out like a sore thumb well by that time it was too late to do anything about so we just left it we'll know no better next time but we'll show you the bottom of it here I know you saw the the chassis in the in the last update but we just did some little detail painting on the chassis but like I said it was very enjoyable I want to thank Mr. BG and Sean for uh, hosting this group build. It was a great idea. I'm really glad you guys did it. Because you got me building something that I don't think I probably would have ever built before. So, thank you guys. Much appreciated. Had a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to my next one. So that's going to be it, guys. I'm not going to keep you very long. Hope you all have a great weekend that's coming up. Hope the, the weather holds out for you, and you guys have some good weather. We're getting a lot of rain today, but so be it. So have a great weekend. We'll see everybody later, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.